In just a minute, I'm going to share three ways you can demonstrate attractive leadership to a strong, independent woman. Hello, welcome back, guys. This is video number five in my six-part series, Six Dangerously Effective Marriage Saving Secrets. Secret number five is masculine leadership is sexy, even to the strong, independent woman. There is a difference between masculine leadership and feminine leadership. Both are powerful, but both are unique. This video is not going to be about feminine power or feminine leadership. That power rests in a woman's unique ability to attract towards her the things she wants through the power of receptivity. This video is going to be talking about attractive masculine leadership. Masculine leadership is simply doing what's scary. Let's quickly define one thing here. Leadership is not the same as management. Management is damage control in a sense. There's fires that pop up and they're dealt with and then the process can continue as it was. Leadership is more than that. Leadership knows, are we trying to straighten chairs on the sinking Titanic right now? Or are we actually making progress towards what we want to be moving towards? If we're kicked back and just dealing with issues as they pop up in the marriage, thinking that we're improving something, we're not going anywhere. Anybody that's been on the phone with me for a consult has heard me use the analogy of being in a boat in the middle of the lake and you have one paddle and you're just going in circles. That's not progress. Leadership knows where it's going. I'm butting into my own video because I want you to think about something right now. If you are a man who's expecting people to vest in you, but you have not demonstrated that you are worthy of investment by investing in yourself, you're never going to get that from life. That's a thing that I never realized for so many years in my marriage was I can't expect from others things I don't already provide for me. November 1st is coming up fast and it'll be too late to get into the Married Man's Vital Formula to Masculine Confidence course. This is your opportunity to demonstrate your value that you believe you deserve by investing in yourself and leading that for you. You can use the link below this video to save your spot. Ways you can attractively lead your strong, independent wife, starting with number three. Face what's scary so she can relax. Your relationship is unique. Look at your wife and just notice what does she need to relax? Here is something to realize about strong, independent women. They many times feel a sense of empowerment when they first step into that role and they feel like they're taking charge of their life or whatever they're applying themselves to. But because they are hardwired to find their sense of honor and truth based on their feelings, they hit burnout when they stay in that mode for too long. And that woman will become resentful, angry, bitter, cold, and hard to work with because she's stuck in that leadership masculine role for too long. She needs a break from it. Facing what's scary gives her that break. What are you scared of and are you turning towards it or are you avoiding it? This is something to be doing for yourself regardless. For the man, there's something within his nature where he's able to set some emotions aside and he can use his clear thinking to step towards fear and things that are scary to places others haven't gone yet. And that is the momentum and the energy of leadership. Number two. When you unload a deep emotion with her, make sure it's summarized in a way that answers this question of where are we going from here? Here's an example. When you show an emotion to your wife, let's say it's, an, it's a real thing like, wow, honey, I'm really having a bad day today. To just stop like that after you unload something like that, you are forcing her to have to step into a masculine role or even she may feel some mothering instincts kick in on what she needs to do because she doesn't know where to from here. That's the question. Where to from here? Number one is stop using weak words. Like probably, I'm not sure, we'll have to see, possibly, I don't know. Leadership is built when you can give black and white yes and no's and specific times and clear answers. If she brings up a some drama and she wants to talk about it. Do you see that as a fire to put out? Because that would be management. 
Or do you frame it, which creates safety and leadership? Framing it could be, wow, I understand that's really a lot for you to feel right now. Tell you what, tonight around seven, I'm going to be done with this. We'll talk about it then. I'd love to be able to have all my attention on you, not be distracted while we're talking. See how that framed when it's going to happen. You could even frame how long it's going to be, but it's it's providing some some borders to this. It's not just a flood of here's this thing and you're now in the moment thinking it has to be dealt with right now. She's seeking your leadership in those moments when she does that. Next week, I'm going to give you number six in this six-part series of six dangerously effective marriage-saving secrets. Oh, that's fun to pronounce. Hey, it's going to be good. I'll make sure it goes out with a bang. I'll see you there. Thank you.